Hello guys, Ivan here and in this video we will check out the new GLC and this is in AMG line, looks absolutely gorgeous and this paint is really magnificent, this is the selenite grey metallic this medium shade, today is like overcast and we are at motor car AMG performance center in Bratislava in Slovakia, so thanks for having us here today So this paint is like a middle shade of the grey, it's not too dark, like a graphite grey but it's also like a bright, you can see a little bit the metallic flicks it also can be as a magno, but not in this model, in different models and the really really nice color, I really like this one uh, that's why I wanted to show you also this color and this is the key fob here, so new key fob for the GLC alright guys, and here is a shorter spec sheet for this car, you can see the base price price with options and also you can see there AMG line premium nice package uh, assistance systems package and also the suspension agility control with selective damping 360 camera and the steering wheel is also heated so if we take a look here at the exterior you can see the AMG line design here with the front bumper this car also has a night package so the window trim is in high gloss black and also the mirrors as well as here this front section of the vehicle so you can see here the new grille with uh, Mercedes-Benz stars and also the trim around the grille is in high gloss black and the Mercedes-Benz badge is flat that's because behind the badge you can find the radars for the distronic system and assistant systems and also the cameras there they also provide the help for the assistant system conjunction with the radar behind the Mercedes-Benz star also this lower part is in high gloss black and you can see there air curtains so the air travels uh, through the side there and also there so for the GLC we have new daylight running lights so they have designed as a one stripe and two smaller stripes and also the headlight itself is connecting here with the grille just a little bit but this is the new design language for the GLC we have here the digital light the best lights for the Mercedes-Benz and also you can see there blue elements which are here and also there these can project symbols on the road and they are very bright and very uh, very amazing from the S-Class same lights so the best lights which are uh, at offer at Mercedes-Benz so now looking from the side, the GLC looks more like a sharpened, more streamlined so uh, in comparison with the previous GLC you can see the front is much more sharper and also the wheel arches here they are now painted depending on the trim so make sure you check that uh, otherwise they would be in black but I think it looks much more luxurious and much better uh, much more sporty if it's uh, painted otherwise it would look more like an off-road car if it would have uh, uh, black ones for example here we have the GLC which is the previous model and this one has a uh, black here also same color by the way so you can see here the previous GLC this one is facelift model so yeah we can actually check out as a comparison here so as you can see much more sharpened up and overall the new GLC looks a lot like a baby GLE I would say it's always the case that smaller models um, they appear and they want to look like uh, bigger models nothing wrong about that so in my opinion we can call this baby GLE because it looks bigger obviously if you look at it that person you, you can see that it's not same size as a GLE but it looks bigger so it appears and it, it again a little bit in the size uh, with the new generation so here we can see the multi-spoke AMG line wheels let me know how do you like this the inner part is in high gloss black otherwise is in silver in the middle Mercedes-Benz logo and Mercedes-Benz brake calipers uh, the brakes are actually quite nice size, so good stopping power 
and also the discs are ventilated, so drilled. Eco Contact uh, 6Q Mercedes Original Continental tires. These are Eco tires, probably for a better better range. Uh, 255, 45, R20. So 20 inch. You can also get the 19 inch, but I think this 20 look uh, very good, and we have also uh, good enough uh, tire here. So the size is 45, so pretty good. Also for the bed roads, and also it looks uh, very nice. Also, check it out how the rears stick out. Uh, they look really magnificent. So, uh, yeah, you have uh, many wheel options, but I think these are very, very good. 285, 40. So these are wider at the rear for better traction. This is primarily real-wheel drive vehicle, same as the C-Class. And also we have all-new interior, which is really gorgeous. Also, you can get these sideboards uh, if you want. Uh, these ones. Uh, you can also get the car without it. So, uh, personally, I'm not sure if I would order it. I like it either way. So, uh, this looks a little bit more off-road. Uh, but yeah, I would think about it a little bit more if I would personally order these. But uh, I like it with these or without these. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about that. Here you can see the mirrors in gloss black uh, because of the night package. And there you can see the cameras for assistance systems. So here is a side look at the front lights. All right, so in terms of the engines, the GLC has four cylinder engines. They can be mile hybrid or plug-in hybrid. So uh, yeah, that's uh, the difference. You can have mild hybrid or plug-in hybrid and here we have a mild hybrid this is a 220d formatic so this is diesel version obviously we can also get the petrol version 200 or 300 and also then the plug-in hybrids so let me know which one would you would you go for diesel is better for uh, longer journeys and it has a very big range and low consumption and petrol is a little bit smoother and quieter than the diesel. It's not as big of a deal in the new cars, but uh, if you compare diesel and petrol, you can feel and hear that uh, petrol is quieter. If you don't listen to the music or stuff like that, so it uh, has this quieter feeling for sure. So if you are most concerned about the quietness of the car, I would suggest to get the petrol, but uh, overall the new diesels are very quiet for diesels, that's for sure now the engine is running and it's barely can hear that this is a diesel so the new diesel generation cars are uh, really great for Mercedes-Benz or I guess so for the new GLC in terms of the rear design here we can see that the rear is very redesigned in terms of the predecessor so this whole part in, is in high gloss black because of the night package otherwise it would be in chrome but the exhaust tips are in the chrome and if you take a look here at the tail lamps you can see the new design here so they have two section horizontal tail lamps and they have this very bold and very prominent design you can see it here as well so it has almost this like a 3d shape but on the inside like a two stripes but if you look at it like this you can see almost single stripe so it has this like a very cool design so let me know how do you like the tail lamps i think they look really really amazing they have this little bit like a little bit here they are thinner but here they are like thicker so also the same here so in between the lights these line is in high gloss black so let you know how do you like this design so here you can see the whole design of the rear from the three-quarter view let you know what do you think about it i think it looks really really nice we have also these aero flicks on the side for better airflow and better aerodynamics and also the spoiler on the fifth door which is not as big but uh, it's streamlined in the middle uh, here for once again better airflow so really great design and also we have rear wiper and Mercedes Benz star here in the middle in chrome 
This model doesn't have an engine variant, but you can get that also on the boot. So you can have an engine variant and also formatic and badges, but you can also do uh, without them. You can order it without the badges uh, as well. So there's also a possibility. So let me know what you think about this uh, design once again. Also here on the side, we have these design elements on the rear bumper here. If you have like different mo uh, models and you have aero package, then you have here these like uh, flaps which are covering this area. So uh, yeah, that's very, very nice. So overall, I really like the new design. I think it looks much more sharp and much more modern as the previous model. So as a comparison, here is uh, rear of the new generation. And here we have the rear of the preface lift. Also check out here this line, which starts somewhere here and goes all the way to the rear tail lamps. So it has this very sharp profile in the rear. It ends somewhere here, I would say. On this car, we don't have this at all. So you can see here, nothing like that uh, here on the pre previous model. So that's, uh, yeah, really, really cool. So let me know how do you like the new GLC. So we can see here the better blue elements in the front headlights. So let me know your thoughts on this. All right, so let's open. All right, so we can open now the engine bay. So this is 2.0 liter diesel engine, 220D, which develops 197 horsepower and 23 horsepower from the mild hybrid unit and sprints from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour in 8 seconds. So uh, very nice dynamics for, um, yeah, for a family car, we can say essentially, for this uh, long distance family car. You can also get the GLC 300 petrol which will give you the 258 horsepower and 23 horsepower from the mild hybrid unit. And acceleration with that engine will be 6.2 seconds, so much faster. And uh, yeah, very, very cool. So let me know your thoughts. Also, there are plug-in hybrids available as well and different versions of the petrol uh, as well. So GLC 200 is also available with also 2.0 liter petrol engine. So the same as for the 300. So let me know your thoughts about this. The engine is coupled with 9G Tronic. So 9 gear transmission, very smooth and yeah, very good transmission for sure. All right, so now we can open the tailgate. The boot is electric here. And the boot capacity is 620 liters or 21.9 cubic feet, which is quite a lot, I would say, uh, for the GLC. So you can see, you can roll the cover, roll the cover, and you can open it here as well. So here underneath the boot floor, you can check it out. So here, in this particular car, we don't have a spare tire, but you can order it as well, which is really great. And also here is a tire kit and some more of a storage space, first aid kit and uh, basic stuff like that. Also, you can lower the seats here with the buttons. So you can lower it here as well. And the rear seats are split of uh, 40, 20 and 40. So you can lower only the middle part and then you can store longer objects here. So that's very good. And you have also these straps here and hooks for the net uh, here as well. So the whole car is extremely practical. Little net here for some bits and pieces. So if you press here the button, the seat will fall like that. It's not electric, it's like a, a thanks to the gravitation and also this one. So now you can see how much space do we have. But the front seat, front right seat actually moved a little bit. So it has uh, more space here. So now we have uh, so much space. Uh, I think you can even sleep here. So quite a lot uh, for sure. So let me know your thoughts about that. And also, if it's not enough space, you can also tow a trailer or boat or something. So you can see here, tow hook. And this one is fully electric uh, in terms of the deploys and retracts fully automatically, which is also very nice detail. So if you press here once again, it will go back. 
very smoothly and uh, yeah, very cool. So very very nice in terms of the practicality. New GLC is uh, really really uh, fantastic. So the tailgate is also fully electric, and here you can see also privacy glass uh, in the rears. And uh, yeah, very very cool design of the GLC. I'm big fan of this. So let me know your thoughts about it. Alright guys, so now we can check out the interior, which is really huge difference for the new GLC. So you have many packages, depending on the market, depending on the country, where we are getting the, the car from. But essentially this one is AMG Line uh, Premium, in terms of the equipment. You can also get the Premium Plus. And as you can see, we have all new steering wheel. This one is the Super Sport AMG Line and also the in the doors you can see first of all place for a bottle and quite large pocket in the doors you can also open the tailgate here with the button speakers here and you can also get the burmester speakers in terms of the hi-fi system very nice design here and you have heated seats in three levels and also in conjunction you have a heated steering wheel which turns on together with the seat so check it out if i turn it off now if i turn it check it out there so you see there steering heated steering wheel turns on automatically because before it was separated now it's uh, automatic with the seats so here for this case we have the artico black and microfiber artico is a man-made leather and microfiber here in the middle this is very good. I, I really like the microfiber. I have it also in my car. And uh, yeah, I quite like the microfiber. If you have a leather, then I would suggest to have a ventilated seat uh, because uh, that's better in, in uh, summer for sure. For this particular car, we don't have the sunroof or the panoramic roof, but you can obviously order that. And uh, yeah, and just to remind that. Also, uh, with this car, we have the adaptive suspension, so you can change the suspension of the with the driving modes. You can also get the airmatic air suspension, but that's in conjunction with the terrain package and also with the active rear axle here. So, active rear steering, you can steer uh, with the wheels actively and uh, shorten the curves, bends when you are driving uh, around them. Also illuminated Mercedes Benz, very nice AMG line floor mats and AMG line uh, brake and accelerator pedal. All right, so let's hop inside and check out this in more detail. Also, it's a little bit more chilly, so I would be glad to go in the car and check it out how quiet this is. Really, really amazing. All right, guys, and here we can see how the front looks from the rear. You can see how gorgeous is this design and also the whole dash is a little bit more up because it is a SUV uh, if you compare this with the C-Class. Alright guys, so now in the interior of the new GLC, the MG Line Super Sport steering wheel and it's already hot from the turning down of the steering wheel. So if you turn on the heated seats, the steering wheel will also turn on uh, with the heating. So check it out, right now it's off and right now it's on. So that's very cool. Also ambient lighting here with the blue, which is most visible during daytime. And also here in the foot area, also in the middle console. And the screen, which is now central screen, is turning 6 degrees towards the driver. Also whole dash is uh, longer at that side, comparison with this side. Uh, you can see there, if we compare here, and here you have much more space so you can see it there and basically it's the interior of the C-Class but we have some differences uh, in the infotainment system and also you can see here a very nice design it is like a metallic and everything is really streamlined and really really beautiful interior for sure so let me know how you like uh, this interior. Also, new driver screen, you can change here. And yeah, the st steering is quite hot actually. Wow, that's nice. So you have a classic, uh, then we have the sport, understated, which is like only simple things. We have also here like a radio, and here you have only kilometers and time. You can also get the 
sport which is here uh, this kind of design also the middle display is changed into red color and then you can also get if you go here you can also get the classic which looks like this uh, classic design the blue one okay and then you can have also full screen for the navigation so whole screen is navigation and then you can have also assistance which will show you the cars actually right now is the one car is parking in front but I don't want to, to film the car but uh, yeah you can see it's working very nicely then we have off-road mode this is difference in comparison with the C-Class so you can see here the tilt angle minus two degrees steering angle here and this one is uh, probably in terms of the front tilt it's a uh, minus one percent you can also see where we are heading so now it's southeast here and yeah very nice uh, elevation here as well 195 meters and also gps here so looks like a desert this uh, this screen which is uh, yeah pretty pretty fun pretty cool so you cannot find this for example in the c class only for the glc then service uh, you can see here next service and uh, stuff like that so yeah very very nice and also this menu check it out here like mountains everything looks really great and also these screens check it out have like uh, like they are on the mirror in the in the bottom you can see the reflection there check it out so that's very nice so my favorite is probably sport and also classic so you can also change in the middle what is what you see here so here with the swiping on the steering wheel you can change here radio you can have a map like this in between the dials you can also get the odometer from start from reset eco display and consumption this car for example has almost 1000 kilometers 6.5 liters is the average consumption and yeah pretty good consumption for sure for this uh, quite mid-sized SUV not a small car so very very nice let me know how to like the GLC personally I would maybe even go for the GLC instead of the C-Class uh, because the price difference is not that big and you can get a larger car with more practicality so let me know which one is your favorite also here you can see stitching and goes all the way there so very very nice ambient lighting also here in the vents these are new vents uh, came with a with a c-class onto the market and you can turn them on and off like this you can see also ambient lighting there and really gorgeous engine starts the button here you can also have a auto start stop turning off here underneath and you can see ambient light here also the seats for the amg line they are much more sporty you can also get the headrest for the forward movement so check it out very very cool and you can also uh, have adjust the height of the headroom so now i adjusted the headrest here so it's all the way down here you can adjust that as well electronically there so here with this toggle you can close the car unlock it and everything is really really amazing also here in the middle if you open this section you can see we have space for two cup holders and we have also adjustment like this one and there is also wireless charging for a phone and some small storage space so really really nice the middle screen here has a smaller line underneath uh, full of buttons so here you have dynamic if we start the car and you can see quiet startup let's do that again so if we start the car we have a very quiet startup thanks to the mild hybrid and here we have dynamic so you can see driving styles so you can activate the driving for the off-road 
here so you can see we have a maximum speed 110 kilometers which is above 60 miles per hour and you can see how everything changes so everything the powertrain is in off-road the steering here is in comfort esp off-road here in eco is uh, everything is in comfort except of the powertrain which is in eco uh, then we have the comfort everything is in comfort this is a mode in which the car starts and then we have sport but you cannot use this with the roof load and then we have also individual where you can set up uh, how you want that mode uh, to behave so here you can see well for the individual mode you can set it up this smaller portion is always reserved for the AC so you can set up individual temperature for you and uh, for the passenger you can have it on automatic mode we can turn off the engine for now so you can have it on automatic mode and you can see you have also next and previous song here and home button so here for the zero layer this is a zero layer layout so you can see here we have the map as a main and then what you use more you can see uh, here like car settings uh, your device the things you use the most the system will learn it and it will show you uh, that um, here you have also here hazard lights this is for the car settings you can see here so here if I have a fingerprint reader see nothing happens because because uh, I, I don't have loaded my fingerprint here you can also turn off here the display or the system if you don't want to use for example here you can turn it off like this and you will have only the AC and otherwise it will be black and uh, here you have a section for the AC and this is to mute the volume and here you have volume uh, knob as well you can also control volume here from the steering wheel so here the star for the favorites so if you press that you can see here favorites and uh, voice recognition hi mercedes how can i help change the ambient lighting to red okay i'm changing the color see so now it uh, it can do many stuff so this is a zero uh, layer now we can check out if you press here home button you have here the apps store settings comfort phone radio media info and smartphone off-road uh, section as well so here for example uh, for the apps this is for the mercedes me and also for the apple carplay android auto mercedes me you can have uh, different uh, things which you can buy then uh, settings uh, assistance systems so this one as you can see active assistance active distance assist active steering assist active lane change you see so it can change uh, lanes downhill speed regulation dsr collision avoidance active brake so so many assistance systems here uh, you can see for the traffic sign traffic light view attention assist uh, for the camera and gps based activation you can open the camera here for the parking you can see parking space in camera image in R, set warning tones, audio fade out, time of warning, and maneuvering assist. So really, really cool. So let's check actually here, if you press this button, you will see the 360 camera. So here we start, we have the front camera image. You can see the 360 bird eye view, and also here is the front camera view this one is the rear camera you can also get the rear if you press here you will have a rear wide view and here you will have a view for the tow hook then you can see the side so you don't hit the curb here and also other side which is really cool auto is uh, depending how you will drive the camera will turn depending on that and you can also save here the gps position uh, here so that's also very good yeah, you can save it here so yeah very very cool indeed then in settings you have vehicle so here you have uh, comfort winter tail limit manual shifting automatic filling station here for the comfort easy entry and exit feature occupant protection you can open close acoustic lock automatic mirror folding 
and here for the lights digital light technology dynamic low beam spotlight and you can change right side or left side traffic then interior, interior exterior lighting as well here locator lighting inter lighting delight switch off extra lighting delay and ambient light so we can see this here as well if you go into comfort you can see the seat so you have seat kinetics which moves the seat a little bit so uh, you can do that as well so you can turn it like this and it will move the seat forward backwards up and down so you're not sitting in the same position you can have a heated seating additional steering wheel heater you can turn this off so this uh, in this case the steering will not uh, heat up together with the seats you can position the seat automatically if you want to do that and here for the ambient lighting we have a monochrome and multicolor brightness you can do individual zones like a direct indirect accent so you can turn them individually on off or make a change in terms of the brightness or you can link the zones so uh, you can change everything here like is now off and if I go a little bit it's now on three see only a little bit so you can make it much more bright you can have also effects warning when exiting for the climate and multicolor animation so that's also uh, really great you can lower the, the AC a little bit so all in all very nice and here in terms of the colors we can check it out so we have 64 individual colors all right guys so let's check out here the ambient lighting is already almost night time so i was like let's check out the ambient light so here if i press the comfort you can see we have seat and ambient lighting so we have monochrome colors and we have 64 monochrome monochrome colors like this for example red or this like a pink color and then we have the most visible which is this blue and we have many colors such as the green one and then we have multicolor options where we have different themes so first one is the ocean blue this combines different colors of the blue so you can see like a teal and like a blue color then we have another one which is Miami Rose and this has like a peach color and also like a, this one is like a violet or pink this kind of color also peach here and it also changes the color because here in effects we have the multicolor animation which we can turn off here for now but you can have that as well here for the multicolor animation so then we have the Malibu sunset so this one combines the teal color also present here the doors and with the pink shades very very cool uh, this color combination as well then we have the burning blue which combines the yellow and this blue like very vibrant shade of the blue then we have another one which is venice pink and this has these pink shades together with like a peach color but more into the red and orange very cool as well then we have the chrome shine which has these shades which are almost white but they are not white they are a little bit towards the blue so here you can see a little bit of the blue here also in the doors but it's these very bright shades then we have red moon which is a uh, blue and this like a, like a, i call it watermelon but it's like a pinkish color so very very cool as well and here you have these blue ones then what we have is the jungle green which has a many green shades but also has a teal like color here light blue and different shades of the green so that one is really really great as well and then we have the ultramarine which combines different colors of the blue of these marine colors then we have the fresh sand which has these also teal like colors and here like a blue one so let you know how to like uh, this color combination also in the doors very very cool and really 
amazing atmosphere in the GLC. Then we have the racing yellow, which has many yellow shades, or it looks like one shade, but it has a little bit different. This one is like uh, orange, and this one is like yellow. So it's a uh, yeah, combination of the colors. You can see also here. And here we have the racing orange, which combines more saturated orange, almost like red here, but this one is a little bit uh, less saturated. So let me know how to like this. In terms of the brightness, you can also change the zones here. So you can have uh, all zones at 20%. So if I, for example, change this to half to 10%, we can actually try this on different color. For example, we can do this Miami Rose, or we can actually do monochrome so we can see it better. This one is the most visible. So if we go into brightness, we have it on maximum now. So this is maximum. It's pretty vibrant uh, here as well. You can also change the level of the brightness of the displays. Right now is on maximum, so you can also change this. But for the uh, filming of the video, I have it like that. Only you can have like here 20. So you can see a little bit better here now the brightness. So if I have here the 20 you can see it also here how bright it is quite bright that's for sure but you can have it only as zones so you have direct indirect and accent so what we do we will turn off each so we can see which one is which so accent is here in the vents you can have vents for example on like a seven you can see only a little bit or you can have it on one check it out only one, so almost no nothing, but still we have something. And this is on maximum, so quite a quite a big difference. So then indirect is actually here in the doors. So this one is indirect. You can have this check it out on like a seven. And this one is twenty, so this is a maximum, and this is a ten, so this is a half. Or you can have it on a like a one checking out almost nothing but maybe it's enough for you so that's also a nice version how we can set it up and then the direct is this one here you can see it here so these stripes around the middle console these are the direct ones you can see it also here so if I have it on 10 it's like this so you can change and play with this and you can set it up how you want. So, for example, if you don't really want the uh, vents to have uh, on the maximum, you can have it on three, and you can turn off the indirect in the doors, and you can have only direct, like these stripes, maybe also on the like eight. So you can have it like this. If you are driving outside of the city, it's actually quite useful to to have it on the lower. And here, if we go into the settings. We can change the system. We have a display and display messages. So here we have display brightness. So you can change actually the display settings for the night mode. We have also another section. So you can see here plus 10 and you can lower it. So check it out. Now it's much more brighter. Now it's less bright. And also the central screen, you can lower it. So you have better visibility on the road. That's also really, really great. And we have also effects here. So you have warning when exiting with the ambient lighting. If you press here, you will see ambient lighting warns you of approaching traffic when you get out of the vehicle. Then you have climate. So changes to the temperature, you will see that by the ambient lighting. So for example, if I change the temperature here to lower one, you will see blue. And if I increase, you can see here on the vents that it goes into the red. You can see it here. So if I go lower, it will be blue. Let's go for something what is not red and blue. So this peach color, okay. So now if I turn it off, you will see the vents are blue. If I go down with the temperature, the vents are blue and they will go back into the original color. But if I increase, they will go into the red. Check it out. So that's the effect. And we have also multicolor animation. So if I turn this off, 
you have ambient light you know, creates animated color changes within the selected color scheme. So uh, if I have here the comfort ambient lighting color. So here you can see if you have, a, for example, the red moon, you can see how it will change very soon. So right now, see, it automatically changes the color if you are only in one color, but it changes uh, the color. So now we have here the teal and not red and blue anymore or pink. We have this like a purple color with the teal and it should change back into its original color as well. So now it changes to this like a violet. It was before like a pink. So very very cool that you can have it on automatic changing in terms of the lights. So I really like this feature of the ambient lighting. Now you can see it's in back in orange. Okay then we have phone settings. Then we have radio here so you can see all kinds of radios. Then media. If you have connected, for example, phone or any dev device uh, where you have music info, this one is for the consumption uh, for the vehicle. So you can see accelerator, brake, and also how the car is tilt on the side, minus 2% and minus 1% uh, front and back. And then we have engine, the torque and power here and boost pressure for the turbocharger, temperature of the gearbox, and temperature of the engine here. And then here we have the smartphone to connect the vehicle to the smartphone, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and off-road here. So you can see here the position and also how the car is tilted. Also tire temperature here. So you can see tire temperature, tire pressure here as well. Engine data. So really, really great uh, as well to have it here. Uh, really cool uh, indeed. So let me know your thoughts uh, about this. And also in the off-road mode you have a new invisible bonnet for the GLC. So if you press here you can see actually if you were driving you would see what is underneath here, underneath the front bonnet. This is actually very good for the off-road so really great feature. Also you can have a setup here with the driver screen in off-road mode as well as here the central screen in off-road mode. So let me know how to like this setup in the comment section down below. So here is a navigation here in the middle. So you can scroll out and zoom in. Very cool as well. And also here we have the glove compartment. So you can lock this with a blade from the key fob. It's quite large actually. So you can see it here, you can lock it up. Okay, so here on the top we can see the sun visor. And here with the mirror as well. And the light. We have also here the microphone and the grab handle here. In the middle there is this panel with the controls for the lights. So here you can see lights and real light Mercedes Me SOS and you can turn off the lights on the interior if you want to do that as well. So really really cool uh, as well. So let me know your thoughts about it. Here in the middle we have also this uh, quite large armrest so you can see for two arms it fits nicely and if you press here you can open it and you have here like a smaller storage space you can take this out if you don't uh, want to, to have it like that but then you can see this quite large storage space and two USB-C ports and light here as well you can have these for like a smaller uh, bits and pieces so that's also uh, very nice and you can close this here uh, as well. And here on the steering wheel you can change the distance, so the distance uh, with the vehicle in front of you. So you can see here the distance, you can change it to four levels here and you can see it there as well. And with this one you change the speed and you have also limiter for the driving as well and home button. And you have also the pedal shifters here and also the toggle for the windshield washer. On the right side here you can see the gear selector. So parking, drive, neutral and reverse. And also on the right side you have toggle for the windshield washer and things like that. Alright, so now we can check out the rear seats. Here you can see the design. 
of the rear. So let's hop inside and we can close the door. The doors have very solid sound. I have to mention this. Very solid uh, for sure. All right, so here is uh, how much room I have in the rear. So that's about it. And that's, uh, I set the seat as I would drive. So here is uh, about that amount of space. That's like about 10 centimeters, give or take. So quite actually good, I would say, for the GLC. Also you can tuck here the legs underneath the seat. And I have the seat as low as possible here. So you can also do that as well. Here some, you have some storage space and also uh, you can have the rear seat heating in this case we don't have this but you can order that and here are the seats privacy glass as you can see everything is super smooth also here the grab handle with the light and we have a hook for the jacket airbag here for the safety and yeah a very nice place to be uh, for sure so let me know what you think these are the rear seats they have microfiber and uh, article leather here in the middle you can have a armrest which you fold like this and if you press like this then you have a space for your phone so you can have it like this if you press one more time then you have two cup holders which are like a hidden here in the in this armrest the armrest is wide enough for two arms the same as this one in the front and here you have the vents for the AC, some smaller storage space and some more storage space. I believe we can also get here the USB-C ports uh, if you order that uh, as well. And here is a Isofix for child seat. These are these small like uh, rubber, uh, rubber parts so you don't need to take this out like before and you can see here you can fix uh, the Isofix here and we have here also the seat belts, this seat belt you can tuck uh, like this so it's not bothering middle passenger. This has uh, obviously a comfortable place for two passengers, but you can fit three passengers, so it's uh, quite large actually. And this uh, rear bench, and uh, yeah, very nice design, uh, that's uh, for sure. I would probably get the panoramic sunroof, that way you have more light coming to the car from the sky. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, dark here without that but uh, yeah depending if you like it many people like it uh, the sunroof actually all right guys and here we can see how the front looks from the rear you can see how gorgeous is this uh, design and also the whole dash is a little bit more up because it is a SUV uh, if you compare this with the C-Class so all in all uh, very nice and now we can check out the headroom all right guys so now I'm in the rear and you can see the headroom because we don't have the sunroof we have a much better headroom so if you need maximum headroom then don't get the sunroof but i think even with sunroof it's quite uh, quite nice in terms of the headroom but check it out it's like 20 centimeters like seven inches of headroom it's like crazy and i'm 186 and a half 87 centimeters six feet and one and a half inch so yeah basically even taller people than me can fit here so check it out just crazy how much uh, room do i have here and also for my arm here it's uh, yeah, comfortable to to sit here and basically uh, it's very comfortable this, this rear section of the glc and uh, improved in terms of the previous generation for sure all right guys so that's it for this video let me know how you like the new glc in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day